Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, and curious minds of tomorrow, imagine a world where every secret of the universe is nestled snugly in your pocket, where an oracle awaits, ready to answer your every question with the swipe of a finger. This isn't a fantasy from a far-off land or a tale spun from the threads of mythology. This is the reality of the smartphone, a device so powerful that it has transformed the way we live, learn, and connect with one another. But should this powerful tool be placed in the hands of our children? Should they be given the keys to a kingdom so vast and uncharted at such a tender age? Let us embark on a journey to explore the landscape of this modern dilemma. We'll navigate the peaks and valleys, the light and shadow, to understand the true impact of smartphones on the younger generation. Firstly, we must acknowledge the undeniable benefits. Smartphones are like a Swiss army knife of information. They serve as a portal to knowledge, a bridge to distant lands and cultures. With a smartphone, a child can learn a new language, solve complex mathematical equations, or witness the migration of monarch butterflies, all with a few taps and swipes. They foster connection, providing a lifeline to friends and family when miles or circumstances keep us apart. However, this digital Eden is not without its serpents. The perils of screen addiction loom large, with the siren call of social media and the endless scroll of information threatening to ensnare young minds. Cyberbullying, a specter that haunts the virtual hallways, can follow a child home, slipping through the defenses of their sanctuary. The vastness of the internet also poses a risk, with children potentially stumbling upon content that shadows their innocence. Moreover, the art of conversation, once a tapestry woven with the threads of attention and empathy, risks fraying in the hands of a generation more comfortable with emojis than eye contact. The blue glow of screens may dim the light of creativity, as the endless entertainment on offer leaves little room for the mind to wander and wonder. So. Where do we draw the line in the sand? When do we say that a child is ready to bear the responsibility of such a device? The answer is not etched in stone, but written in the sands of judgment and wisdom. It requires a balance, a harmony between the digital and the tangible. It calls for education, not just in the how of technology, but in the when and the why. It demands that we, as guardians of the future, equip our children with the tools to navigate not just the internet, but their own self-control and understanding. In conclusion, the question of whether children should have their own smartphones is not a simple yes or no. It is a question that echoes the challenges of our time. We must weigh the scales of benefit and risk, tailor the decision to each unique child, and ensure that the virtual world they enter is one where they can grow, not one that stunts their journey. As we stand at the crossroads of this digital age, let us guide our children with a compass of caution and a map of mindfulness. Let us prepare them not just to consume content, but to create a future that is bright, connected, and kind. For in their hands rests not just a smartphone, but the potential to unlock a world of wonders. Let us ensure that they are ready to use it wisely to enhance their journey through the wondrous tapestry of life. Thank you.